Hello everyone. Um, got a few questions on some of the videos that we created regarding what is POP and Techstash tools and some of these other tools that we're talking about for optimizing content. Um, I know Holly's got one that works for POP on optimizing and I use Techstash tools a lot so I thought I'd come in and do a quick video see if we could help you out. Um, one of the things come in here this is the dashboard click on semantic analysis and then TF IDF and so what this is doing is analyzing content as a whole not necessarily um, what you may see in um, the titles the descriptions the H tags you know everything else that comes into it this is looking at just the text as a whole so I'm gonna submit one I just submitted one on pest control Wichita so we'll let it run uh, while it's running Let's see, cost, I think we pay 25 or 29 bucks a month for this one. Um, what it's gonna do is it's gonna analyze, I believe the top 15 or 16 websites that rank for a particular keyword, and you may add a few different keywords in here. But then it's gonna analyze them and give them weight on what should be the most important keywords and what keywords you may be missing. Uh, what I like to do is run this and then go and look at the pages, if you already have content, you can analyze your content against them to see what you may be missing. But what I like to do is that is find a, one of the, say, 10 through 16 um, ranked sites for this keyword. And because they have obviously optimized very well, probably, well, most likely pretty well, but they may be missing some keywords. So I'll take that content and then I'll rewrite it and then add in the keywords that they may be missing. So let's go see if this one's completed now. Yep, okay, it's really quick. So 30 seconds to complete the actual research. And this is the first thing you're gonna get. And you can make the amount of keywords, the weight of them, it can go way out. So I think right now it may be set on 50 or 60, something like that, or maybe it's 100 even. But as you can see, you can slide this and I can say, what are the top 20 most keywords? What are the top 500? I mean, you can go all the way down. But I'm just going to go to about right here, somewhere in there. And we can see, obviously, for pest control, Wichita, Wichita, pest control, pest, pest control, um, service, services. Contact is almost always in there because it sees contact on the page. Kansas, company, bed bugs, free, um, some call, bugs, termite, termites, ants. So you can see these keywords that are in here. And it gives them weight on what's most important according to content. Uh, you can look at the details here and it's going to show the actual sites. So you can see graphs along the way. And I could turn some of these off. So if I wanted to look at American Pest Online, what could they do to increase? Okay, well I can see they're missing bugs, they're missing bed bugs, they're missing company, they're missing termites, they're missing ants, best, spiders customer, offer, phone, work, state, reviews, area, but I can see a lot of keywords that they're missing and that's what I would go and do. And so I may take their content, rewrite it, and then turn around and make sure I add these keywords in. So I know this is quick, but hopefully that'll help you out. Um, you can also, oh, and if you wanted to get rid of some of these, you can just go get rid of Yelp, you click on them and say, show me the results without those. Or yeah, I can say, just show me this one that ranks number one up here, this patter, Patton termite. What have they done? Okay, so obviously these most important ones they've got, if they wanted to do a little more, they could add help, treatment, you know, some of these other things. But the primary keywords, those are obviously pretty important. Let's see if brown is kind of the same way. Yep, brown's got most of those top ones. And then the number two ranked Heartland, yep, most of the top ones. So you can see what these most important keywords are just by doing this. If you go into the compare, this is going to tell you if you end up over-optimizing for different things, so you want to try to stay in that average. Um, you can go and you can either copy your text and put it in here, or you can put your URL and compare it against these. And then on the data tab, that's just going to put it all here where you can actually print out spreadsheets if you want. But um, that's about it. Hopefully that helps you out. Uh, let me know if you have any more questions on it, and hopefully we'll get you a pop video here pretty soon, and maybe even Kyle actually uh, talking about some secrets and using it. Thanks.